Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at past, present, and future energies for you in love. What can you expect, you know, in love and who you might be dealing with. We're going to be looking at the energies between you. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, let's jump right in for Sagittarius. Spirit, angels, guides, messages for Sagittarius, wherever. Messages for Sagittarius regarding love. It's all the lovers. Yeah. <laughs> Past, present, future energies for Sagittarius. Okay, let's see what we have for you. One of my cards is messed up. Past energy, we have you. Okay, the temperance card. Sagittarius energy, present energy, queen of wands, future energy, four of wands. Okay, this looks good to me. I feel like right away I'm thinking about something that you're excited about. Something that brings stability, something to celebrate in the future. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy with the queen of wands. Your energy is strong here. I feel you strongly here. Some of you have been working on something and then you're going to celebrate it. Okay. On your side, we have the two of pentacles and the four of cups. Okay. Undecided, unsure, debating with yourself, whether you want something, how you feel on their energy. Five of swords. What happened? And the sun. Well, when I see the Five of Swords with the Sun, I think of someone that's been caught or is being seen very clearly, this person. Bottom of the deck, the High Priestess. Uh-oh. What is going on here? Well, the high, with the High Priestess, I think secrets. I can't help it. It's the first thing I think of, especially when I have a Five of Swords on the spread. So this person could have hidden something from you. Or there's just... Your intuition is guiding you. What else do we need to know? For Sagittarius, regarding love, spirit. What are the energies for Sagittarius? Okay. Coming together, past life, and falling leaves. Coming together, reunion, destiny, meeting. Destiny has brought you together. It's one of my favorite cards in this deck. Past life, memories, past life, nostalgia. You've had a connection with this person in the past. And falling leaves, changes, transition, time. Time changes everything. So time has passed between you and another person, and now you're coming together. That's how I read this. So we'll see what we get when we clarify, but... This looks great. What's at the bottom of the deck? I'm just curious. Burden heart. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart. Interesting. Okay, let's clarify before I get ahead of myself. Start with this high priestess. Get some clarity, please, for Sagittarius. Clarity, please, for Sagittarius. Tell me about the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? Eight of Swords. Well, she's blindfolded in the Eight of Swords. Tell me about the High Priestess. Eight of Wands. Oh, I keep getting a ton of cards and it's driving me nuts. Three of Swords, Five of Cups, and Death. Scorpio Energy. Okay. There's a lot going on here. I feel like something has been in the works. And Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, it's coming in. But for some reason, it's difficult. Maybe you're scared of it with the Eight of Swords. Three of Swords, Five of Cups, Sadness, Loss. Death Energy, Scorpio, it's all about changes.
I'm also sensing that some of you are thinking about something that's already over. It already ended in the past, but you still think about it. Maybe you try to stay busy, try not to think about it, but you know, intuitively you sense something going on. I see that here too. So let's see what's going on here with temperance. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Ten of Pentacles. Why is temperance here? Two of Swords. Okay, this is about you because you have the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles is on your side. The Chariot, the Five of Swords. This is about everything that's going on. The Two of Swords is also blindfolded. I think some of you had no idea that something was going on. I just, I feel maybe this person, you had issues with a, another person. Someone could have been deceiving you. And this has been building up. Chariot is here, Cancer energy. And the Chariot is all about moving forward in a whole different direction. And the Ten of Pentacles is almost like you want to head towards the Ten of Pentacles. You want this Four of Wands. But there's something about getting there that's been difficult. You know, it hasn't been an easy road. That's what I'm sensing here. And you're, you've still been working on it and waiting for things to happen. The Queen of Wands is a doer. So I, I get the, you know, there's this energy of like wanting to take charge of this because maybe it's taking too long or maybe it's been too bumpy of a road for you. This could also be your person's energy, but I sense your energy very strongly here. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Yeah, the Page of Wands, Initiative, Spark. Tell me about the Queen of Wands, the Empress. Yeah, I, I sense that you've been working to get to a certain level. Work. Some of you have been working to just be seen, appreciated. Yeah, some of you, this is about you. You being satisfied, you being happy, you being content. Because this has been a bumpy road over here. What's this death card about? Why is death here? Another two. Okay. Some of you, you've just been at like the threshold of deciding whether to end something for good. Something in your life. A relationship, a job, a place where you live. You're, you've been at this crossroads for a long time but you've been too scared to pull the trigger and intuitively you sense that you should be moving forward that you should be working on this that you should be making moves and you're doing it despite the fact that you don't feel good you're maybe sad or depressed or just down maybe you've been hurt by someone you care about but i sense that this is more your energy like i feel like your person's kind of like on the outside here this is about something that you want for yourself, that you're thinking about for yourself. You're envisioning a certain future for yourself. And for some reason, this person could be getting in the way or this person is like an attachment you're kind of taking with you. Love, Ace of, of Cups, and the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Yeah, there's a lot of thinking about abundance, your personal happiness, and love in general. And it's your, th the hermit thinks about steps for the future. Tell me about the four of wands. Tell me about the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here? The high priestess. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Seven of Cups. Okay. Choices, options. Ah. 
Some of you are wondering if the choices you've made are going to get you what you want. I think some of you are doubting that. Am I on the right path? Tell me about the Four of Wands. Yeah, the Moon. Some of you are lost in the Ace of Wands. Pisces energy. How do I get to this Ace of Wands? With the choices that I need to make or the choices that I've made. You're thinking about whoever I'm, I'm speaking to here, Sagittarius. You're thinking about the future. And please let me know if this is resonating in the comments. Because I feel like this is a specific message for someone. And I also feel like a lot of you are on the same boat. This could be a decision about your future career. The future person you want to marry. You, maybe you're with someone right now. You're just not sure. Are they the one for me? Are they supposed to be my future? Because I see you conflicted. Like you're not sure. Tell me about the energies surrounding Sagittarius in love. You could be dealing with a water sign. Water's um, showed up a lot here. What do we need to know for Sagittarius? Energies for Sagittarius in love. The lovers. Wow. Okay. Partnerships. Your other half. Seeing eye to eye, being in love, and judication. Judication is about waiting for a result. Waiting for someone to make a decision. You are deciding about a specific person that you already know about. Others of you, you're deciding or needing to decide something to determine whether you allow someone new to walk into your life. You're seeing this person, if you're with someone right now, Sagittarius, there's been something going on where you're, you're, you're seeing them in a specific way. Maybe your, your idea of them has changed, or maybe that's just not what you expected to have as a, as a partner for your future or something like that. Maybe something happened that made you think, hey, I don't know who I am with. Is this who I'm meant to be with? I have you on one side, Sagittarius, on the left here, and your person on the right. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Sagittarius, the energies that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection. What do we need to know? Wow, the Stingray. Stingray is needing to find inner courage. Okay, tell me about the person that Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this other person? Peacock. Interesting. Well, the peacock is kind of like the Empress in a way. Let me look at that real quick. Inner beauty, compassion. Beauty within and within outside. It's basically beauty on the inside and outside. Extremely rare. Okay, the problem is, and I know this isn't a problem, but it's a problem for this person. You are recognizing your own worth. It's a problem. It's causing problems for this person. Tell me about the two of pentacles. I feel like I need to use a different deck. So I use, okay. Tell me about the two of pentacles and the four of cups. King of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Yeah. You you haven't been able to decide something, Sagittarius, what action you're going to take. You keep going back and forth. Yeah, you're worried about the future, Seven of Pentacles, about this Ace of Wands. 
Some of you have been with someone for a long time and you thought you were going to be married. By this point, it's not happening. You don't see it happen or you're just questioning if you even want to be married anymore. <sighs> Others of you, you've been waiting for someone to be available. And it's like time has passed, time has passed, time has passed. And you're like, are we coming together? Are we going to reunite? Are we going to have this four of wands together? Because they haven't made their choice either to separate from whoever they're with. I only say that because the Queen of Cups showed up and I see you as this Queen of Wands. And I also see the Three of Swords here with the Five of Cups. So I think of heartbreak, regrets, and then this Five of Swords. I can't ignore this Five of Swords, you know? It's not it's not the best card to have it's really hard to defend a five of swords energy tell me about the five of swords and the sun tell me about the five of swords and the sun the higher font taurus energy ah tell me about the five of swords and the sun why is the five of swords here with the sun page of swords and the tower wow when I see the Page of Swords or the Knight of Swords or the Ace of Swords or the Tower, I think Revelation, especially with the Sun. But I have down here the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. So I'm starting to think that this person has probably... If some of you are dealing with... And Aries, go watch that reading. Okay, um, yeah, I feel like some of you, um, this person might be making you promises here. Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Um, but all I'm seeing here is a Page of Swords. Um, so that's not really action. And also I'm, I'm getting the sense that maybe you've had conversations or are gonna have a conversation with this person where you finally get to the truth of something. Page of Swords in the Tower could be regarding commitment like are they going to commit to you or a commitment that they're already in tell me about the tower why is the tower here the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy tell me about the tower the lovers the knight of swords yeah there's something that you're going to find out two of, one, of cups the lovers gemini energy and it's about a, your connection Five of Wands, yeah, I think it's going to cause a fight, an argument, a disagreement, um, conflict, drama. Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, like this is the truth. And the Knight of Swords is blunt. They don't even care how they tell it to you. They just care about delivering the message and then they're out. They don't care about being soft about it, sweet about it. They don't care. King of Pentacles, for me as a reader, tends to already be in a commitment or married. Sometimes if they're not married... That means it's just like that's they're a very upstanding person and you know they take they provide for others and are business people but here with the higher font and the king of pentacles married that's what i think so some of you could be dealing with someone that's married but if you're not dealing with someone that's married it could be that this person's presenting themselves to be marriage material and they're not or someone that's willing to commit able to commit but they're not Ace of Pentacles, and then the world. Wow. So what's the problem? That's what I'm hearing. What's the problem? There's a Six of Pentacles. I feel like this person's going to want to do damage control. Because this tower is coming down right on them. And when it's a tower about a revelation, this person could easily want to say, okay, fine. I don't want to get married, you caught me, or I was doing something I shouldn't have been doing, you caught me, I will commit to you now. Let me get some energies for them. Let me try the hidden truth. Tell me more about this person. I think this person might even give you an excuse Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Hangman. Yeah, it's like 
it's a promise, but there's no action behind it with the hangman. Be careful with offers because sometimes they're distractions. I look for you everywhere. Tell me about this person. Tell me about this person. I remember every detail of that day. I feel you leaving me behind. This tower might have already happened, Sagittarius. Did you find something out about this person? And did you make a judgment call based on what you found? I think some of you, if you did make a judgment call, if you like blocked this person because they hurt you, I think you're struggling with letting them go for good. Maybe because this was a connection that you probably thought was forever. Tell me more about this person. Maybe this person's coming back and begging for forgiveness and you're just not sure. I see you like really debating with yourself what to do. I wasn't honest with you. Yeah, I'm ready to open up. I'm ready to be honest now. I think that this person was hiding something. I think you caught them. And I think it set your whole future kind of in question. Because you, I feel like you already knew where you were headed. But this was like a pot that was boiling. I don't even know if that's like an expression. But I'm, you know, it's, it's like this was meant to happen or already on it on like working its way to get to this point you know it was building up to this point i guess i should say um and now you have a choice to make you know i feel like some of you are really unsure you're this four of cups i'm not happy what am i gonna do i'm checked out I don't really, some of you might even be saying, I don't even want them back. But I don't want to date anybody new either. I don't want to have to start over. I'm, I'm sensing that some of you are feeling that way too. But whatever this was, this tower was, towers are not subtle. The death card is here. So I already am I'm sensing that someone's been thinking about an ending. And the chariot is here as well, moving forward. And I think that you must have also like i'm speaking to a sagittarius right now where you like picked up the keys and you drove away and you were like i'm done but it's not so easy to let go of something that you spend some time on you know i feel like a lot of if you if, if i'm speaking to a sagittarius where you were with a person you were with them for a while i feel like this person is still they're they're not over you they're looking for you still and I feel like they're, you know, wanting to return, wanting to come back here. But I don't know. It's going to be up to you, obviously, Sagittarius. I feel like the decision is up to you. That's why your energy is all over the spread. Because whatever happens in your future in love is up to you based on what you do with this particular person. You know? And either choice you make will be different. Like, it'll be a different life. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Let me know if it resonated for you in the comments. Like the video if you enjoy how I read and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.